now Ohio's congressional district map, including for that race, is still up in the air. Tanisha Cordell is live this morning with a closer look at the election uncertainty. Good morning, Tanisha. Good morning. Yeah, so the state's uh, redistricting commission has until mid February to redraw those congressional maps. However, candidates who want to get their uh, filing their petitions on the ballot, they have until March 3rd to do so. Back in November, the congressional map enacted by Ohio's Republican legislature was overturned. The map made 73% of the state's districts Republican leaning, which violated the partisan fairness requirement in the state constitution. Lawsuits sparked as a result. Groups like the League of Women Voters of Ohio, the ACLU of Ohio, and others claimed illegal political party favor and even violations of equal protection, assembly, and free speech. Earlier this month, the state Supreme Court order demanded new maps be drawn. The race is on to get them approved by February 13th. In the meantime, uncertainty over district boundaries leaves upcoming campaigns in limbo. Right now, District 11 covers parts of Cuyahoga and Summit counties. Former state Senator Nina Turner, who just re-entered the race for Chantel Brown's seat in Congress, seems to be pushing forward as we wait for approval. I am running to give people a choice. Uh, in the greater Cleveland district, because that's, that's what we'll call it, the greater Cleveland district. Now, Turner is not the only candidate announcing a run for office. You have Amelia Sykes, who said just last week that she wants to take a run for the 13th district, again, without knowing those boundaries just yet. We'll, of course, keep you updated on this. Katie? Yeah, not the only maps we're waiting on, too. Tanisha, thank you.